Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today we're gonna speak about general features of the menus in CS Card. Let's begin. Menus are found at Design Menus. They help to organize different types of content displayed on pages into short, consistent lists. By using menus, you can provide lots of useful information without occupying too much space on the storefront. There are two types of menus in CS Card – manually created and dynamic. Manually created menus use the content added by a user, for example, internal and external links in the Quick Links menu. Dynamic menus use the content of the store, for instance, Category Tree for the Categories menu. Let's create our own simple menu and fill it with items. This way, it would be easier to understand what menu consists of. Click the plus button to add a menu. We are going to call it Promotions. Click Create. All menus are created empty by default. Now let's fill it with pages that tell us everything about current promotions in the store. Click the gear button on the desired menu and choose Manage Items. Then click the plus button and add an item. We specify the item settings. Here are three important settings – Parent Item, URL and Activate Menu Item for Dispatch. Parent item allows you to create multi-level structure inside menus, so be careful when choosing the correct level for a new item. In the URL field, we enter the URL of the page, which will open when the link is clicked on. And Activate menu item for dispatch is used to specify the pages on which to display the tab as active. It is recommended to leave the field empty if you don't know how dispatches work. You can also include submenus into an item for better navigation on the store pages. Click Create to add an item. To save time, we will skip creation process of other items. And now we have the menu that is ready to be presented on the storefront. So that's it about general properties of menus in CS Card. In the next video, we are going to display our new menu on the storefront. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next C-Scart video tutorials.